Okay, Shane, tell us what we're working on here today. We're working on, goodness gracious, we've got to do mite treatments and start feeding them up for the winter. Start a fire. We're going to try this without a suit on to see. And some plastic bags leak. Is it ironic that we have uh, little pine shavings on fire blowing across the pasture while you have your fire department sweatshirt on? Uh, it's, it's an off-duty shirt. Not officially sponsored? Not officially sponsored. It rained in our food. It's like bee superfood. It's peanut butter. Uh, peanut butter for them. Okay, so we need somebody to, somebody to smoke them. Will that be your job today? That sounds perfect. I need a hood. Your, um, your suit is in there. Are you, just, a, are you just wearing a hood? I have a 4X. Are you just wearing a hood or are you wearing a suit? I'm just gonna wear a hood. I'll try that. The you, video will get so much better if that goes wrong. You have, you're gonna have to wear a suit. Cause all I have is one hood. Oh. I didn't want you to get stung. Hey guys, I'm Shane. Today we're switching gears and we're gonna work on bee treatment. Um, we're trying to get them through winter so they're hungry and they've drank all their syrup. So we're gonna replace these we're gonna give them a little bit of mite treatment and give them some homemade winter food. Because it's been raining for two days now. So we're doing this on a gamble and I didn't bring my suit. So let's try and see. So this video could get really good really quickly. We're gonna start out by doing a little pre-drop in case we have to make it quick. Each one that has a bottle on the top is a, what I call a survivor, or did have a bottle, which means they've made it through the rough summer. So that's what we're down to, to try to get them through. When you say rough summer, is that drought, the heat? We what had the, the heat was no problem, but the drought with no nectar and no food sources. And then when you have 40 hives coupled together, you can look at our lush flower field out there and see how good it's doing. Yeah, so the same way the cows were affected here, guys, the bees felt the same thing. I'm gonna pop open this first hive here. And these are down to nothing. Let's see what they look like. Why are they down to nothing? No food, no food. Another casualty. So they leave? These are dwindled down to nothing. So they're not necessarily left, they left one at a time and they didn't have enough food to have brood to replace their numbers. So we take our feed spout out. Okay, let's go to the next.
wake him up. Hey, look, we've got bees. Okay, and these are doing good. You see the top box is empty. They have empty frames, so it's time to reduce them down so that they're not taking care of a two-story house during the winter. So that's the same food you're gonna give them more of. They're still eating the last one. We're just gonna give her some fresh food. Fresh food, we are going to reduce them down. Make sure they don't have brood up here. Well, they do have honey. We need to replace that down bottom. They've got some stores left here, so we're going to try to give that to the ones down at the bottom this is where it gets tricky trying to bust them open like they're not going to like us getting into their home so you're going to try to take the honey that they have stored up right here and put it into their one-story house we're going to reduce it down for them so they don't have to clean a big house all winter okay See these guys, we're gonna give them actual food cells that are filled up. Do you leave those others sitting out and let them just find their way back to the hive or what? We're gonna put them in the top story and have it so it can work for next year. Let them, they'll clean it out slowly. Okay, guys. Oh Don't man. Get mad. Oh man. Trade empty for half full. Yep. Come on, guys. Cooperate. But I'm glad I'm on the You side. hear what they're saying? They're saying, Please. shut up our house and leave us alone. Yeah, I'm glad I'm on this side of the camera. So we're going to put their blanket on. I mean, these bees live in luxury, guys. Put the roof back on. And we're going to put these. They're here and they're gonna figure out if that's not home anymore. Go back where they go. Yeah, I think they're ready for us to leave them alone. <laughs> See if we can make these mad. Guys, go down in there. That's a lot more than I want to do. It's supposed to be as simple as throw food on, go to the next. That doesn't sound like everything we do. This has quite a bit of honey. And if you'll see bees up top. So they have too much for us to mess with. We're gonna take their used food out so are you saying they can support what they have? They have enough there to let them keep it. Go 
Go figure. Trying to hold that upside down or just... No, it should be okay. So what's that treating for, mites? It's mites, it's just oxalic acid with glycerin. A slow mite treatment. And these say, put us back where we belong. So we'll do that. That's how easy it's supposed to be. Just like we drew it up. So these are already not very happy. Wake up. This one's light. I don't know what they have up there. I don't think they have any resources to mess with up there. These guys need to go back down and start working. So can you just take the cap off and Food. Let's see what they have. It's worth messing with. Sounds like there's quite a bit in there. They're starting to build comb. They don't have anything in it. And they have enough resources in the bottom. God. That's pretty comb. Check that out. They're trying their best with what they have to work with. But these guys are going to have to migrate back home. So what is that plastic piece right there? The plastic, that means I use them as a donor hive this year, which they got resources robbed from them okay. to create queens. So I stole brood eggs and nurse bees from them. So they helped, the, they helped make a new hive, basically? They helped make a lot of these that didn't survive through the... Oh, so they did an okay job. They did what they are supposed to, but Mother Nature didn't cooperate with us. So do you take that off there, or can they get through that? They can go through that. Gotcha. That's only design... It's designed as queens can't escape through it, but all your workers, you can. Gotcha, so we set them up here in hopes that these guys right here on the right realize that one story house go back over there there was we started out with 35 hives out here in spring and the summer ended us up with 15 7, 16 Which 50% is not good. Yeah, you guys can see that in the background. We always talk about our cows and the drought. So this right here is usually a coastal field, maybe knee to waist deep most of the year. And uh, you can see a little bit of stuff just started to sprout here in mid-October, but that is about the extent of our vegetation we had. So we didn't get any- happy. Oh, we got some angry ones. We didn't get any measurable rainfall from May through, I guess, September. Oh, oh, oh. These aren't happy like us. So oh, oh. They'll oh. be fine in just a second. Okay. All right, there's a good part of the video. Oh. You guys ever tried to run a camera? Uh, yeah, I think they look good. Oh, goodness. In they have a short-term memory. In their two-story house, they look good. I think that's good for a good look on them. I wouldn't move them. Oh, get my fingers. You can't get stung in that. Oh. Oh. It doesn't hurt that long. Okay, uh, we're all good guys. I'll probably clip that out for its own video, just for the sound effects. Yeah. 
so Shane, why, why are some, is that just genetic that some are, have a more angry temperament? Very, I see it seems to be very genetic because if you, if you take a mean hive and split it with a queen and eggs, it's gonna be the same way. But if you take a mean hive and replace the queen a month and a half later, it's a nice hive. So it's the queen is what her genetics dictates how they're gonna be. And you can have a queen that starts out nice that bred with a meaner male and then that queen will turn where it produces not so friendly bees. So do you try to select for the calmer ones when you can or is that not important? If you want to build your, your tolerance to um, being stung, you try to promote the mean ones. But if you're, if you're on the easy road, you certainly want to get rid of those. I know the dog doesn't like yeah. the mean ones. Marley's over there. She's in the truck still. You probably could not get her out of the truck if you wanted to. She's learned. You can see there we have quite a few resources, honey. And there's three or four, so we're gonna leave this for them and let them work on that through the winter. These have already been reduced down. They had two story boxes. So at best they just get food? They're gonna get food slapped on and move okay. to the next. Your hands get stung a couple times there? This would be good, yeah, a little bit. Good for your arthritis? Your hands get where it doesn't bother them. But if you get you it in the face the or ear, it really hurts. What'd you say? If you get stung in the face or the ear, oh yeah, you can really tell. Mm -hmm. Hardest thing this is is on your back. I don't know why. You can't imagine how hard it is on this side of the camera. They've eaten their protein very well. What's crazy is I remember as a little kid planting fruit trees. There's one left. Is it that one? Yeah, is that an apple or I don't know, pear? That was 20 something years ago. I remember we had rows and rows of those in this little fenced off area, some cows. Didn't eat it. Who'd have thought it would be replaced with bees so that the cows didn't mess with bees. They've done good. Yeah, most of it. Sorry, guy. Here we go. That's a very nice hive. See, they don't care. I saw this lady on TikTok this week uh, in one of those Home Depot sheds. The whole floorboard is probably like an eight foot across hive. No, no gloves, no mask, no anything. Just out there in shorts and a t-shirt. Cut it open with a sawzall and start pulling a comb that's, out. That's very brave. I can do that if I get to pre-test them off camera. <laughs> no, that's, that's the best part of rolling the camera. 
So is this next spring, what are you, what are your plans to rebuild these back up? Are you going to have to split so again next spring? January, February, we'll start feeding them heavy like we're doing right now. And then by the end of February, they'll have their numbers starting to grow. So sometime mid April, first of May, they'll have their numbers where you can split them and they'll create, do a, instead of swarming on you, they'll create their own numbers and you can divide those out and create your own. It's empty. I would div dive in these, but I'm afraid I don't want to get them mad. But I'm assuming they have enough in there. They've got one, two, three, four, five frames full, and he didn't like me pointing at him right there. There you go. He's got to pull his stinger out. There you go. And he'll live for about 10 seconds, and he's gone. Yikes. So that's the first time we've seen one of those with the holes in the top of it. What is that before you cover that up? This is their little drinking trough. So This one is? Yeah, so I, this is for insulation layer to yeah. keep them from gluing the lid down. Yeah. A couple purposes. With and that then that frame on the right. Oh, this was, this is a feeder, inside feeder that I'm not using. Gotcha. It really, it's not serving any purpose now. You feed it up and it, it's just labor intensive because you got to take every lid off. So I'm you, to, you built your own basically out of water bottles. Right? I've made my water bottles to make it easy on me. Okay, I'm going to make you make a video. But on while that we're doing me. that, let's steal these that they seem to like. And we're going to put nothing in it, but we're going to give them some, some stuff to take care of. These may get mad at us. Oh. Get room for one more. I bet everybody can hear in the mics when they start hitting your face. Yeah. They can try to fill that stuff up if they want. Wish I could turn this around so you guys could see them. I need yeah, a camera inside here. I guess okay, they didn't like that. Yep. Okay, put the top on them. I can see them hitting your hands. And do that. Okay. Oh. And they'll eventually not get mad in a minute. As they lock my hand up. Quit it. Yeah. Oh. Stop it. Oh. This is the reason it's not a good idea on us with no suit. But we'll promptly move right down here. What's their radius? If you get away from their hive, are they gonna leave us alone? Depends on how angry they are. Well, these are already coming out of there, over here. Oh! Every one of those O's you hear, guys, is, uh, that's me trying to keep the camera running while my hands are getting. My hands have holes in them now. I was smart enough to at least put my off hand in my pocket now, uh, because the first, Jeez. Okay. We got one, two, we got six more to give them food. Let's see if we can do it without making these mad. I love when they, it's hard not to react even this, though I know I have this net on. This is a operational error. You feed it and you think they hadn't drank anything in a week, but when you look closer, there's no way they can drink it because yeah. There's no hole. It's kind of hard to uh, feed them. So whoever them. did that expected them to open it right. themselves. This is a one-man operation, so. 
and the hive we just left is still not very happy with us. If we walk over here. This is a very good hive. If we walk over here, will these protect us from the ones that are still stinging us from? Probably not. A second ago? It's not like a. He did a very good job of eating their protein, so we're gonna give them extra. They got the top full. Do I need to go get one of those empty water bottle lids? No, we'll do that at the end. We'll okay. do it all at once. We don't want to cause a frenzy. Have you gotten stung yet? Yes. How many times? Oh, uh, maybe six or seven. Oh. My fingers. In a suit you have? No, the suit's fine. One. I think this was a larger hive too. I finally was smart enough to put this other hand in my pocket. I don't know why I was just sitting out here letting it get lit up. Just don't swing at them because it makes them mad. Yeah. That's one, that's like the people who say now don't run for full, bears. These guys are full all the way. a good looking one? We certainly don't want to make them mad. Is don't swat at bees kind of like the people who say don't run from a bear? No, it really works. Oh, okay. A bear, you're, I think you're supposed to stand your ground on a bear. Yeah. Bees you want to walk away from. Only the ones with the white tops. They're the ones that I figured out made it through, so we gotcha. fed them a little bit to help them. You plug the others. Your goal is not to crush one. If you don't crush one. Look at that little guy. He's hanging out inside the protein patty there. Here's another one, casualty. We do offer bee, bee sting treatments, therapy, dollar sting, if you're needing that for um, carpal tunnel or we can, we can set you up. I think they do it for arthritis or something. That's what I meant to say. I'll tell you, where I got stung in my back, it hurt for two days and felt great for a week. Okay, we're almost done. Minus water bottles. Actually, I know this next part, what are we doing here? We're going to give them carbohydrates, I think. Liquid? Sugar water. You it's look just, like those guys who... It's just like going to a... Yeah. It's just like going to a carnival. Any of y'all that ever worked at carnival? That's going to need modification. So you're going to put all these... And this, we supplement with this, just like you do with the, the patties. This is, yeah, this is their fuel that keeps them going. I'm going to put this mic down here so you guys can hear this. These are still upset. I'm not happy that we're hanging out with them here. I'm going to have you make a video separately afterwards, showing your little modifications there. two days to suck this down. So you have to come out here. I'll do it once a week right now. Just to keep them going along. They eat some, but they store up most of it. So they convert that into honey? It's a, you can't really call it honey because it's not nectar, but they convert, they convert it into a food source for the winter. Is what I would call it. Oh, we have to, we have to fix that one too. That one's gonna have to be fixed too. Come 
had plenty now. The other crew was supposed to change it out. <laughs> they never got to it. Okay, we got a couple we got to fix. So we did a, a winter prep on the Cottondale hives. We're down to, like I said, 16, I think is what I counted, from 35. So we're going to take these survivors from this rough summer and promote them along, feed them a little bit, and get them through the winter. So next spring, they can be split into, what is 16 times 2? 32. 32. So hopefully 32 hives that we'll be able to pull honey off of. So we gave them protein patties that's made up of substitute protein, sugar, water, oil, and sugar water, which is just pure cane sugar mixed to a one-to-one -one ratio so that they'll build the brew nest and get the numbers up before winter hits. Most of the frames are between five and six hives uh, five or six frames, which is on the minimum probably of making it through Texas winters. So with a little bit of feed, they'll be fine. Uh, this, this yard's done, so we'll move on to the next.